Looking for a TV series that's full of funny, surprising, and touching moments? Check out Family Ties. This show from 1982 has a lot of interesting stuff going on. From stories behind the scenes to little known facts, there's a lot to discover. Want to know what happened when the cameras weren't rolling? Stick around to find out the cool things about this show. Got any favorite memories or personal experiences with it? Share them with us in the comments below. Stay tuned for more interesting facts about Family Ties. Family Ties stands out among classic family sitcoms for its wit, warmth, and relatability. The show revolves around the Keatons, a family with parents who hold strong, idealistic views from the 1960s. While Stephen and Ellis pursue their ideals in their careers, their children have differing perspectives. Alex, the eldest, is a staunch conservative, while Mallory embodies materialism and Jennifer remains neutral. The addition of characters like Skippy, Mallory's dim-witted admirer, and Nick, her equally dim but cool boyfriend, added depth to the show. Despite a slow start, Family Ties gained momentum and secured a spot on NBC's Thursday and Sunday night schedules. The show's well-crafted storytelling and character development resonated with viewers, leading to steadily improving ratings throughout its run. Although it's been some time since its original airing, Family Ties remains a standout program from the era of 80s television. Stephen Keaton, portrayed by Gross, earned the 12th spot in TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Dads of All Time list in June 2004. Tina Yothers, a cast member, released a single titled Baby I'm Back in Love Again during her time on the show. It's the song her band performs in the Band on the Run episode, but it never made it into the top 40 charts. On the show, Meredith Baxter and Michael Gross play extreme liberal activists who express annoyance at their son Alex's admiration for President Richard Nixon. However, Baxter and all the president's men played Debbie Sloan, the wife of Richard Nixon White House staffer and Watergate conspirator Hugh Sloan. Set in Columbus, Ohio, the TV series followed the Keaton family dynamics, primarily focusing on the character Alex P. Keaton. Michael J. Fox, who eventually became synonymous with the role, faced initial rejection during his first audition due to a perceived smart elect demeanor. However, casting director Judith Wiener championed Fox, leading to a second audition that secured him the part. Interestingly, Matthew Broderick was initially sought after for the role of Alex. Despite the producer's strong interest, Broderick declined the offer at the last minute. Rooted in his New York ties, he resisted relocating to Los Angeles, where the show was filmed. Consequently, Michael J. Fox stepped into the role, eventually winning three Emmys for his portrayal of the young Republican. On a personal note, Fox found more than career success on the set. He met Tracy Pollan, who played his on-screen girlfriend Ellen, and they went on to become a real-life couple still married today. Notably, Pollan had previously worked with Broderick in another series, creating a peculiar connection had Broderick accepted the role. The on-screen transition from playing Broderick's daughter to his mother would have been a noteworthy twist. In hindsight, Family Ties became a crucial milestone in Michael J. Fox's career, defining an era of television with its unique take on family dynamics and societal issues. Meredith Baxter and Michael Gross, born on June 21, 1947, are only 11 years older than Scott Valentine, born on June 3, 1958. Stephen Keaton hailed from Buffalo, New York. Her co-star Michael J. Fox dubbed her Johnny Cash due to her penchant for black attire. Baxter and Gross, with their similar ages, portrayed the parents' allies and Stephen Keaton, while Valentine portrayed their youngest son, Nick. The show, created by Gary David Goldberg, focused on the Keaton family, illustrating the clash between the liberal parents and their conservative son Alex, played by Fox. It ran for seven successful seasons, offering a comedic yet insightful portrayal of family dynamics amidst the socio-political landscape of the 1980s. The series garnered critical acclaim and a loyal fan base, making it a staple of American television. Allies and Stephen, characters in the beloved sitcom Family Ties, were introduced during the early 1940s, while Alex, another key character, was born in the late 1960s. The character named Mallory seems to reflect traits associated with failure, unluckiness, or ill omen. In the show, she faces many challenges, which echo the negative meanings of her name. Mallory's journey is full of difficulties, making her name surprisingly suitable for her storyline. This adds an interesting layer to the story, showing how the creators thoughtfully developed her character. It's common for TV characters to have names with symbolic meanings. 
In Mallory's case, her name symbolizes the hurdles she faces, adding depth to the show's storytelling. The intricacies of character naming and their connection to personality traits are fascinating aspects of storytelling. In real life, recent interviews with Meredith Baxter Burney, who played Eli's Keaton, revealed distressing details about her personal life during the show's production. She shared that her husband at the time, David Burney, was abusive, adding complexity to her experiences while portraying Eli's. These revelations highlight the challenges faced by both the characters and the actors behind the scenes. They remind us that the world of entertainment often intersects with harsh realities. The relationships, both on and off the screen, contribute to the rich story of family ties and the surrounding stories. In conclusion, Family Ties remains a timeless series that explores character development and the balance between fiction and reality. The characters' names, like Mallory's, add meaning to their stories, while revelations about the actors' personal lives deepen our understanding. The show continues to connect with audiences, offering insight into the human experience. Family Ties, a TV series from the early 1980s, saw its cast considering a dramatic end with the entire Keaton family perishing in a plane crash. They firmly opposed the idea of a reunion show in the future. The series started off moderately but gained momentum in its third season when it became the lead-in show for The Cosby Show. Michael J. Fox's rising fame, especially after the success of Back to the Future, brought increased attention and success to the show. Interestingly, One Day at a Time, another show from the era, was initially conceived as a star vehicle for Whitney Blake and her daughter Meredith Baxter. However, the concept remained in development for years until Norman Lear acquired it in 1974. Baxter expressed feeling hurt and betrayed when the show they envisioned as their star vehicle was bought by Lear and cast with other actresses. Ironically, during 1983 and 1984, both One Day at a Time and Family Ties shared the TV schedule. In two episodes of its sixth season, Jennifer appears younger and Andy is absent. These particular episodes hold a nostalgic charm as they were recycled from earlier seasons, adding a touch of familiarity for avid viewers. Interestingly, the family Keaton was named after D.N. Keaton by Gary David Goldberg, the creator of the show. It's a subtle homage to a Hollywood icon, enriching the background of the Keaton family's legacy. What's even more intriguing is that Michael Gross and Meredith Baxter, who portrayed the parents, share the same birthday June 21. It's a delightful coincidence that adds an extra layer of connection between the actors behind the beloved characters. Gross hails from Chicago, Illinois, while Baxter was born in Los Angeles, California, illustrating the diverse backgrounds of the cast that came together to create the magic of family ties. These little details highlight the depth of the show's history and the bond shared by its cast members, enriching the viewing experience for fans around the world. It's these touches of trivia that make the show even more captivating, showcasing the attention to detail and the passion poured into its creation. And there you have it, a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes magic of family ties where every detail, from character names to actor birthdays, is carefully considered, making it a timeless classic.